So, hey guys, and uh, yeah, welcome to a brand new series. Now, this is only my sixth video or something, so everything I do right now is pretty much brand new. Uh, but this series de definitely is. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. You, of course, you know, seeing, it, seeing the video right now, but it's gonna be something like just drive, let's go for a drive, let's drive, uh, something in that matter. But we simply just go out and drive, because I drive a lot as a car enthusiast, and I suppose you do as well. Uh, being a car enthusiast, if you are of course, uh, and you really just drive with no uh, destination, and it's the best, it's the best thing ever. It's a bit, it can be the best therapy as well. Uh, so yeah, this specific video was gonna be about top five fun cars who are affordable. Get a car that you really enjoy driving, where you have fun. A car that is fun. It can be it has some horsepower. It can be it got an awesome transmission. It can be it all. But you just want a fun car that is affordable. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about five of those cars. Uh, I don't want to drag it out, so let's get to it. So the first car I want to talk about is, as you probably can see here, it's going to be the BRC. The Subaru BRC. Personally, that's one of my favorite cars. I've, I've, I've driven one once. But of course, you can get them in automatic and in manual. Most likely, you can speak about the manual here because uh, personally, that's the most fun of them. So yeah, if you don't know the Subaru BRC, those cars have been on the market for some years. So right now, you can get them on the used market. You can get them for around fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars. That's a bargain because you really get like it's really a sports car. You got two big tailpipes. Uh, again, loads of ground. It's a two-seater. You get them in 200 horsepower. I'm not sure if you can get them in lower. Uh, I don't think you get them in higher, but you get them in 200 horsepower in a manual, low to the ground, rear wheel drive. It's off the charts how fun it is to drive. My point is just you get a lot of car for the money. Uh, if you choose the manual, like the manual in that car, man, uh, those shifts, um, those are on point for me. Number two is gonna be the Master Miata or the MX-5 or what you call it. So yeah, you probably guessed it, that's an, the Master Miata is an awesome car. And it's truly, like you should really think, it's purely built for car enthusiasts. And now you can get the old ones, one of the first generations. Man, like, for real, in, in America you can get some of those for a couple grand. Ooh, a nice S5. You can get some of those for $2,000. Like, Get a car for two thousand dollars. Where I don't know if you have ever driven a Miata or just even the new MX-5s. The transmission in the Miata and the the, the the feel of the shifts, like honestly, those are one of the best in the world. Like I'm I'm not in, not even kidding. You don't need a horse. You don't need a lot of horsepower in that car. Like you can put a hundred horsepower in it, and it feels more than enough because the, the way it feels when you shift and everything is a phenomenal car and as I said you can get them for around two thousand dollars too of course you can also get some more expensive ones uh, but hey between two and six thousand dollars I think you could get a, a, a an awesome Yatta that you can also put mods on and have fun while having it the third car I want to talk about is a German car it's a BMW E36 M3 it started to become a quite a legend all the M, all the M3 line is, is, is a legend line in my uh, in my eyes. E46, of course, but the E36 came before the E46, and it's just some may not like the look. I personally love it in a lightweight car with a straight line six um, and a manual. You're gonna have so much fun, and it's a German, so you get the quality. You really get a lot. You really do. Right now, you can catch them on the market for around eight to eleven, twelve thousand dollars. Personally, I really think that's cheap. You get an M3, guys. You get an E36 M3. You get a German car. You get German quality. You get a German driving experience, and that manual and that awesome engine for eight to eleven thousand dollars man that's the bargain next car is a wrx the subaru wrx that's a legend car that's literally a legend car you got that ring you got that big hood and you got that manual man it, it, it's just a driver's car like all these cars I mentioned here as i said in the start it's fun cars so these are this is driver's car uh, and that's what it's all about you want fun you, it's no reason to buy a car it's not fun to drive 
to the WRX is definitely fun to drive. You get experience, you get not only experience in the feeling, but for the eyes, for the looks of the car. And I actually got surprised when I looked at the prices for these cars. But you can catch those from, from the older generation for around, what, ten, eleven thousand dollars 11000 to even some of the newest, $20,000, maybe $25,000 as well. The last car I want to talk about is, in my opinion, besides the BRC, is probably my favorite car. It's the S2000. The S2000. That's almost a car I would die for. It is so beautiful, it's so sleek, it's so good looking. It's a very beautiful car. The thing about the S2000, not only the interior is, is so do, the tachometer, it's like, I, I believe in all S2000, it's, it's a display, it's not analog. And that's awesome, man, for a car of that age. The absolute best thing about the S2000 is the engine. It's such a high revving <laughs> engine. I don't have the exact number on me right now, it's close to 9000. And in a car of that magnitude, of that, that where it weighs so little and it's so low to the ground, it got that manual and it got such a high revving engine and it looks so good and beautiful. Get me one. And right now the prices, dude, the prices are between ten to twelve thousand dollars. Man, what? Oh I can't live in Denmark one day more. Ten thousand dollars for S2000. Like this just man, stop it. So yeah guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. It's my first time doing doing this series and doing one of these things where I'm just driving and filming. I personally loved it. I personally like it because, you know what, I'm out here driving anyway and I'm thinking about cars, I'm spotting cars and I love talking about cars, so... So yeah, <coughs> so, yeah I hope you liked it. There will definitely come more videos like this. So yeah, thank you very much guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Have a good one.